hey golden babes welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is sierra aka golden x sims welcome to my channel you guys and this video is so different than any other video i've done and i bring it to you my first ever mod review video well is it a mod review i guess it is like a mod review video but i'm showcasing you 10 plus mods that will make your gameplay so much better and realistic some of these mods i just found and some of them i've had for quite a while i'm super excited to do a mod showcase and just show you guys these mods i don't know let's just get started i'm very excited hopefully i don't fuck up hopefully this will be a good video if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button go check out my let's play called emotionally scarred it is hot and popping right now if you're not tuned in you need to go tune the in because it's very good and everybody just loves it and i'm just loving that everybody loves it so if you want to go and join the crew who's been watching it go join that crew and subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you won't miss any other videos from moi thank you so much i will truly 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 appreciate it i'm serious i really would so let's just get started with this video so we have our girl crystal rose and i'm pretty sure if you watch my emotionally scarred let's play you've seen this family before in like one one of my episodes they were just out and about and we've seen them y'all seen them in that mcdonald's yeah but this is one of my old families that i've had for quite a while and we're just playing with them for this mod review video so let's just get started let's start with the first mod so it is nighttime, and we are about to go to sleep our first mod is going to be the bed cuddling mod which i'm pretty sure majority of you probably know what i'm talking about so let's just have everybody go to sleep actually oh shit does she have a bed yes she does okay so we're making everybody go to sleep i'm just going to show you guys the bed cuddling interaction it's so cute i love it do y'all see yes so they're cuddling together which is so cute and so realistic actually i think the sims 3 has an interaction like this when sims go to sleep in the sims 3 they can cuddle together but i don't know why the sims 4 set up that interaction and didn't bring it to the sims 4 so thank god a mod made it for our game and that is just what they do they just cuddle in bed together and yeah it's so cute i love it so much but all right you guys everybody sleep and i will see y'all in the morning for more mods that i want to show you guys okay so our next mod is called the morning routine mod i just found this mod probably like a couple of days ago so you know how you guys have a morning routine you know you get up wash your ass brush your teeth you know do your whole face routine all that good stuff and my morning routine is very simple i'll get up i'll brush my teeth wash my face get on my phone a little bit check you know the socials the gmails all that good stuff if i have any like productive things to do like wash clothes or anything i would do that like i just have a very simple morning routine i feel like everybody has a morning routine so this mod is what that is your sims will autonomously do a morning routine they will get up put on their clothes you see i'm not doing anything y'all it's gonna make him go use the bathroom and he actually has to use the bathroom too so they will put on their clothes go use the bathroom come on jackson hurry up slow poke <laughs> i know we in his business i know in your business but we gotta show the people okay yeah use it use it use it let's speed this up we use the bathroom and then he washes his hands can't have no filthy ass hands oh my gosh after he washes hands he's gonna brush his teeth y'all see i'm not doing anything they'll do all of this by themselves i love this i think i'm gonna keep this in my game i really love this and they actually brush their teeth for way longer than what they usually brush their teeth for then they take a shower see that's the morning routine and it's so realistic like it's so realistic oh my gosh just annoying as baby okay she needs to get up but that is what that mod is it's the morning routine mod you guys should go check it out and get it for your game the baby is crying because the baby is hungry so let's move on to our next mod which is the childbirth lactation mod so let's wake her up we're gonna have jackson take care of the baby while she pumps her breast milk we have the lactation stuff right here this is panda sama shout out to panda sama she is the best mod creator in my books she's one of my top five she's probably not even top five she like top three for me she is the bomb.com so as y'all see our girl crystal didn't had a baby lexi 
Oh, actually, she has breast engorgement. Is it engorgement? Yes. Crystal is feeling restless after neglecting to pump milk for a while, leaving her breasts full and engorged. The sensation is becoming increasingly uncomfortable. Okay, so I think you have to take Tylenol for this part, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. No, 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 no. So she has the pump. So let's let her eat some cookies real quick. So you have to eat the cookies first to get the milk flowing. Oh, see, Lexi is very hungry. Lexi needs to wait. Please, Lexi, wait. Your mom is making a bottle. Please, please wait, 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 wait. So yeah, she's going to eat the cookies real quick to get the milk flowing. And then she's going to pump her left side. Come on, girl. Hurry up. Your daughter is hungry. Oh. Hurry, hurry. Mm -hmm. So she's pumping her left side. If you want to see the real thing, I have streamer mode in here. That's why it's blurry. But I'm pretty sure without the streamer mode. Ooh, I'm pretty sure without streamer mode, you could see like, you could see it without the blur. But there she goes. She pumped and you've seen the milk. So it's going to go right in her inventory. Hold on, let's pause the game. It's going to go right in her inventory. Mind you, when she pumps, the milk has a yellow top. And when she makes formula, the milk is going to have a blue top. But we have our milk. So you can actually sell the milk to the milk bank when you're done pumping. And it's going to be like 10 simoleons. But what I'm like, why is our milk 10 simoleons? Like, we have that juicy milk. Like, our milk is exclusive, bitch. Don't be cheaping us. I think our milk should sell more than that. Like, $10? Are you fucking serious? Like, be for real. Be so for real. When she's done pumping and it's in your inventory... You want to go to the baby, and it's going to say, feed breast milk. She's going to go up there and feed her her luxurious breast milk. You know, that good shit. That, she got that good, good. Oh shit, we can't get the baby, y'all. Hold on. I don't know why, but... We just going to do this. Whatever. I don't know what it is. Okay, let's feed our baby. And she needs a diaper change. And you guys, she's feeding her her breast milk. Isn't it so nice? Look at that. So, so. Oh, how cute. Another part of the lactation system, you can make baby formula milk. You don't want to have your Sims pumping. You can make the milk from scratch, from formula. So we are going to make baby formula, and I'm going to show you guys this. Come on, Crystal. Come on, girl. Okay, so this is how she makes... Oh, I should have actually brung this over. Can y'all see it? I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me move this dollhouse. Okay, this is her making the baby formula. Oh, the fridge is in the way. Okay, there we go. Look, like she's pouring the formula in there, and then she's going to, like, mix it around. And y'all see what I told y'all? The baby formula bottle is blue. And look, that's all you have to do. Then it goes right in your inventory once again, and like I said, you can sell it or... You can store the milk in the fridge. When the milk's in the fridge, it's going to say get milk, get formula milk. And then she's going to heat the bottle up. Yeah, she's going to heat the bottle up. She's going to make the bottle warm. Oh, after she gets it out the refrigerator and see if it's warm for the baby. Y'all saw that? She put the milk on her wrist. The bottle is nice and warm so we can go up and if he moves out the way, we can feed the baby again. As y'all seen, the baby is fed, so we don't have to feed the baby, but y'all get it. Um, Feed formula milk. You can either feed the baby formula milk or breast milk, so y'all get the whole mod. You get it, and it's very nice. I love this so much. So realistic. So, so realistic. But yeah, that is that mod. So let's get to the next mod. Oh my gosh, and she just pissed herself. Oh, thank you for peeing on yourself. So that means she's gonna have to take a shower. And that goes on to our next mod, which is called, I think it's like body care mod, something like that. But it's like body shop mod or body care mod. What you wanna do is go on the phone and it's gonna say shopping and it's gonna say body care shop. So she's gonna call up, you know, the body care shop the people and then we have different body care shops that you can shop from these are realistic body care things that your sims can use so we have the suave shop ogx shop avino method tree hut shop and body ecology so i'm a suave girl let's go to suave their stuff actually really smells so good so y'all see all of these different body care things like isn't it so nice we have green apple, coconut, cocoa butter and shea, citrus sage, cherry blossom. Oh, suave brown sugar and vanilla. Let's get suave brown sugar and vanilla. And I think you could also get lotion as well, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go back to the body care shop. Let's go to the Avino shop. Yes, this is the lotion. So let's get, I don't know, we're just going to pick, let's do Avino stress relief lavender. 
when your sim needs a shower, it's going to be in their inventory. Okay, she's going to take a shower. And then when she's in the shower, why you can't use it? Oh, I guess children can't use it, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's drag it to her mom. This is embarrassing. What the fuck? All right, her mom is going to take a shower. I guess kids can't use it. That sucks. All right, stop talking. Come on. Stop talking. Okay, so her mom is getting in the shower. And now you can use it. It says use right here. And she's using the body wash. So she used the body wash. You guys. Yes, we're getting one of these. Fuck the Avino. We're getting one of these. Oh, pink vanilla wish. Oh, we're going to be smelling like a cheesecake. Let's get strawberry cheesecake. Oh, yes. Okay, so here's the lotion. And you can actually put it right there. Why she can't use it? Um, it's not letting me use it. Never mind. I don't know why. Y'all, I don't know why it's not letting me use the lotion. Um, I don't know why. This is crazy. This is weird. I've seen other people use it, but I don't know why my sim isn't letting me use it. Hold on, let's drag it to Jackson. Maybe he can use it. Okay, y'all. I don't know why I can't use the lotion, but you can definitely use the body wash. But that is the Body Shop mod. I love it, though. It's very fun, and I love how you can actually use real things. The lotion and the body wash. Even though I can't use the lotion, I don't know why, but it's cool. Whatever. Let's just move on to the next mod. Uh, yeah. This next mod is called Go for a Jog Together or like Exercise Together or something like that. But this mod is actually, you could go for a jog or go for a walk with them. So all you have to do is click on the sim you want to exercise with and you ask to follow for a jog, ask to follow, or ask to follow for a walk. So let's actually ask to follow for a jog. So Ooh, he's asking finish. her. <laughs> oh, oh. Did she say no? Oh, <laughs> oh bitch. Oh, um, I'm trying to show them the mod. Why are you? Uh-uh. What did she say? No thanks. I'd rather do my things now. Oh my gosh, y'all. Hold on. I'm trying to show y'all a mod, and my sims don't want to cooperate. And she want to be stubborn. Like, girl, damn, he just asked you to go for a jog together. Okay, how about you ask him? He better say yes. Why are they not saying yes? Y'all, I'm trying to show y'all this mod. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, how about we can ask the follow for a walk? <laughs> what? Oh, Batessa. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh. All right, finally, guys. I got them to go jog, bruh. Somebody finally said yes. Thank you. Sure, Crystal. Let's do something fun. All right. So, I think you, like, click. Maybe you just click somewhere. Jog here, right? Yes, yeah, see? Y'all, this is my first time doing this. Oh, she don't have her exercise clothes on. So, I'm guessing you have to change them into their exercise clothes. Yeah. But it's so cute. They can jog together. I just don't like how you have to click somewhere for them to jog at. I thought they could like autonomously just go anywhere. I mean, I thought they just jogged anywhere, but you actually have to click where you want them to go. And that's the downfall about this mod. But it's still cute. It's really cute. See? They're jogging together. I love this. All right. But yeah, this mod is very simple. You're basically just working out with somebody. Uh -huh. And yeah, I want to see the go for a walk together interaction. If he say no, I'm going to just forget about it. I'm going to just say fuck it, but we're going to see. Come on, Crystal, ask him. Hello. Okay, there we go. Floy Masharno. Frifa. Oh, yo Did he say no? Oh, he did. He said yes. So they can just actually walk together. Go here. Oh, they're walk. Um, I thought they were going to walk, but okay. Oh, they are walking. Why is she walking like that? <laughs> uh-uh, because why is she walking like she's got her back broke or some shit? Like, what the fuck? But that's that mod. Let's move on to the next one. All right, you guys. This next mod is actually a CC mod. It has something to do with, you know, a CC item. And it's actually Coco Games' diaper bag, her functional diaper bag, which is so freaking genius. I've had this mod for a while, but I'd be forgetting to use it. But I'm definitely going to start using this. Yeah, it's just a functional diaper bag mod. You just open up the bag and you can drag items for your infants or maybe even for your toddlers, for your kids. It don't even have to be just for infants. You can drag toys in here. 
just to take with you when you're out on the go with your babies, your kids. And they could all just, you know, be in the diaper bag because how realistic is that, right? Everything be in a baby's diaper bag. Baby clothes. You even keep shit in there for you. Probably put your keys in there, your shades, goddamn lip gloss. I don't know. You put anything in a diaper bag. That's what this is for. Just take things in there for your infants when they're bored, when you're out. Maybe as a community center, at the beach, at the library, anywhere. But that is that mod. It's just a functional diaper bag mod once you have everything in there all you do is put the bag in your sims inventory and then when you get to your destination you just take the bag right out and open it and everything is in the diaper bag so that is that mod so our next mod is called the private practice mod and if you've been watching my lp my emotional scar you see that i be having some sick sims in my game all the fucking time and we be having to go to the private practice doctor be getting checked up and shit so this is what this mod is about so all you have to do is go on the phone and then you go to the home and then you go to my health portal so he hasn't been to the doctor so he doesn't have a health report but if your sim is sick all you do is schedule an appointment and you can schedule everyone's appointment if everybody's sick but maybe if one sim is sick then you could just schedule an appointment for that sim but i'm gonna just schedule for everybody and you can either do a health checkup a full evaluation y'all can't see i'm sorry it's like blurred but yeah you could get a health checkup just a little quick checkup but if your sims are very sick you will have to go to that doctor and then they will have to get checked in and pee in a cup and then the doctor will like diagnose them with whatever they have and then they'll tell your sims to like go buy medicine so the medicine can treat your sims and they'll get better let's just schedule a sick visit and also if one of your sims had a heart attack they'll get an emergency bypass surgery yeah but let's just schedule a sick visit and the medical clinic it basically says that you'll leave to your doctor's appointment in the next 30 minutes and if you need to take a sick leave or anything just call in the worker school and yeah you just wait for your appointment and here you go it pops up as a notification it says today is your health day Crystal so Mila and Jackson have scheduled a sick visit appointment at medical clinic today. So now we just have to wait 30 some minutes, which is like 10 seconds in real life. <laughs> and then it'll tell them when they can go. But y'all see, they watching. I don't know what they watching, but... Oh, they watching the kids' network. They watching Amazing World of Gumball. Yeah. My shit. They know what the fuck going on. Oh, there we go. Today is your health day, so you can either send them alone, join them, or just cancel the appointment. But we're going to join them so I can show y'all how the mod works. I actually love this mod. It's very realistic. I love it. I really do. Okay, so we have arrived at our private practice medical clinic, which is actually a build by Alexis Ariel. But I've used this build in my LP before. It's so cute. Alexis Ariel ate the fuck up. But let's just get on with the mod video what they're gonna do is come in here together well i just make them come in here together so they can all go in um oh that's why she's limping she bruised her leg up from jogging how you how the fuck did you hurt your leg maybe like her muscle popped out or something i don't know you know what we just gonna teleport her here because she's taking forever uh-uh don't go nowhere don't go nowhere so they're gonna check in at this kiosk right here somebody is calling her a payment due on student loans okay we're gonna ignore that because i don't know what the fuck they talking about did he just check everybody i don't know if he checked everybody in but i guess he did did he yeah okay so next thing you gotta do is pee in a cup it says what you have to do up to the top left of your screen so what we're gonna do is go and pee in a cup all three of them have to pee in a cup so pee in a cup pee in a cup and you pee in a cup it's like pre-filled with pee. <laughs> is it? I think it is. Wait, let me see. I think it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Anywho. So they are peeing in a cup. Jackson, did you pee in a cup? Okay. So when they're done, they put the pee cups. Oh, never mind, y'all. It's pee in there. Yep, they put the little pee cups on this counter. And then the doctor will come and take it. Okay, she gotta be different. Put her shit on the outside of the fucking wall or whatever. But alright, boo. You do you. And then they have to go right here. She already know what to do. Our little girl's two steps ahead. She know what to do. But they have to check their blood pressure right here. So she's checking her blood pressure. And then the mom can come check hers too. So I'm gonna show you guys up and close. They put their arm. Y'all, when I was a kid, I used to love putting my arm in this little thing. <laughs> it just brings back memories. Isn't that so cool?
Oh, damn, that scared me. When this pops up. We've received all the necessary data to complete a full health analysis. Please wait for our staff on an available exam bed to get your results. So when they're done with that, then they have to go in the doctor's office and wait in the room until the doctor comes in. Just like a real doctor's appointment, which is so crazy how the modern nailed this mod. Like, <laughs> they actually have to wait in a room for a doctor. Love it. Love it. And then here's the doctor coming inside, and he's talking to Jackson. Ruvine. And then it says your health checkup is complete. Jackson has completed their health checkup and has an updated health report. Jackson Rose health report summary. He has a healthy weight, but he has a high blood pressure, and his next checkup is due in seven days. And if you want to view the full health report, you can go to the private practice phone menu, which is right here. You go to home, my health portal, and then it says view health report. And it tells you everything, what they just told you on the notification, but they give you like more in-depth review. Yeah, he has a healthy weight. It's says with a little more work jackson could gain increased fitness and benefit from an extended lifespan if he wants to improve his health he can use a workout machine or a punching bag to build muscle or treadmill to reduce their body fat high blood pressure he's at an increased risk of health issues that can result in a shorter lifespan he's recommended to exercise for at least 30 minutes a day avoid going too long without breath, and try to avoid things that cause them to feel overly angry stressed uncomfortable or excited if you're like really serious about your sims blood pressure you want to monitor it you can schedule them another health checkup and it just tells you their allergies so jackson is actually allergic to cedar and he's allergic to hanford hay he needed to take up a scribe and a hit whoa I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that word. I don't want to butcher it, but he needed to take that prescribed medication. He's not sick. Jackson was not diagnosed with any sickness, but if he's feeling ill, he could come back and schedule another sick visit, and his next checkup is due in seven days. So, yeah, it just gives you everything about the sim, which is so cool to me. Like, really, really cool to me. I love it. But that is just what this mod is. Yeah. Private practice mod. There's nothing else much to it. If your sim is sick, all you have to do is get the medication. What I do is I go on a computer and purchase medication from the computer if my sim needs medication here's a computer well i think this is is this computer deco like all you have to do is click on the computer and press order and it will say like purchase medication and you can buy the medication that they've been prescribed to get but it's not showing it on there maybe because he's not sick but yeah that is that mod that is the private practice mod let's move on to our next mod okay we are on to our next mod and this mod is the timeout box mod this mod has actually been out for quite a while i played with this mod a few times but not on camera or not when filming i played it when i like played by myself off camera this was before i had a youtube channel but i used to play with this mod and i actually love it and it's actually for toddlers and children as well but as y'all can see we don't have a toddler in this household so what i have to do is age up this infant so let's go ahead and age this infant up real quick into a toddler Okay, age up. We have to age her up twice now. <laughs> Y'all remember when newborns would go right to toddlers? Nah, they're going to infants now. So now I have to age her up twice. <laughs> I love infants though. Okay, let's just randomize this. And then we're going to age her up again. Okay, so we're going to go to MC Command Center. Sim c ooh, not MC Cast. Sim Commands. <laughs> Set age into a toddler. And she's going to age up. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, age the baby up. Aww. Okay, y'all, after so many damn tries, our baby has aged up into a fucking toddler. And excuse this uh, pile of fucking trash right here. That's from the diapers. Okay, so let's say your toddler wanted to make a mess, you know, and your child too. They want to make a mess. They want to be rebellious and just fucking get into some shit. Or just mess up the damn flow. Like this. And it's so annoying when they do this. Like, it really is. It, it grinds my gears when they do this. So, the parents come down here and they see it. Let's teleport her. Y'all, I don't oh, feel like waiting for these sims to walk down here. Come on. Stop talking. Okay. Oh. See, I see the parents saw the child and the toddler sim making a mess on her flow. She don't like that. She ain't going for it. So what you do is you click the timeout box and you do child timeout to Mila. And she goes in this damn box. And we're going to bring our girl Lexi down here as well. 
And y'all see me looking in an air. Yeah, get your ass in that box. Be mad. You made a fucking mess on our flow. We don't like that. Pout. Yeah, you can pout all you want to, shorty. All you want to. Okay, here's our girl Mila. We're gonna reset her because she's soothing herself. Let's teleport her down here. And click on the parent again. And we're gonna give a taller timeout to Lexi. Her ass was making a mess too. So they both getting their ass in this box. Lexi, where you going, boo? Nah, you in timeout. Turn your ass around. Turn it around. Why are you going outside? Huh? What are you going outside for? Okay, Lexi's still walking. Like, girl. And she pick her up and she put her in his box through the wall. And look, they both in his box. No, no. She trying to call her sister to get out. But your sister in that box too. And yeah, look at them. They both in timeout. That is this mod, the timeout mod. If you have a child sim or a toddler sim and they get into some shit. And you just want them to take a break and think about their actions. And be mad. Then put them in this box. Let's move on to our next mod. The next mod we have has to do with our girl Lexi. Once again, Miss Mamas. Hey girl, we back at you again, but this time you're not getting in trouble. You are getting soothed. You are gonna soothe yourself, okay? So that is what I'm gonna show you, which is called the self-soothing toddlers. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know about this mod as well. What you do is you can click on the toddler if they're being fussy, and if you want them to be quiet or quiet themselves down, you can click on them, and they give you so many different um options of pacifiers that they can use to calm themselves down just relax so we have a lips pacifier mustache butterfly square and circle let's use the butterfly one so what they do is put the pacifier in their mouth and they just suck on the passy and it quiets the toddler down and i think i don't know if i'm not mistaken it like lowers their angry moodlet i think it does but she's not angry right now so but yeah she's just soothing herself and another thing you can do is you can okay let's reset her real quick but another thing you can do is you can actually suck your thumb in bed or you can rock self to sue so let's suck her thumb in bed so she's gonna go on her little cute bed climb up on that bed and yeah just suck her thumb okay the pillows <laughs> the cc pillows are in the way but she's sucking her thumb and that just makes them soothe or they can either rock their self to soothe that's another way of them soothing themselves. Oh, this is how they rock themselves. Okay, I never seen this one before. I never did this one when I played with this mod. I really adore it. Like it's really cute. Yeah, she's just rocking herself, and it gives you so many different moodlets right down here. Thumb suckers crash. Mmm, mommy, you should try this. So yummy, and I got time to think about toys. Rockin' from rocking the suit. I feel less sad. A sad happy. Where's my binky? My new new from lip shape pacifier. Oh my gosh, wait. Ooh, I look like a Kardashian. Texas like Botox Bible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, not looking like a Kardashian sim. I'm weak. And they said it tastes like Botox. The shade is giving shade. And then it's another one that says Binky from Butterfly Pacifier. Yay, my blue butterfly binky. I'm so excited. That's just what this mod is. Like it's very explanatory. Um, it's just self-soothing toddlers. The toddlers soothe their self, and you don't have to do it for them. Let's move on to another mod. Next we got the piggyback ride mod and i just found this mod like a few hours ago <laughs> i never tried it before but i want to see what they do i mean i know what they do but like i want to see how they do it and you know how it functions and shit and i've seen that adults can ride on each other's bag and also toddlers can ride on kids bags so what you have to do is get a toddler and then the toddler clicks on the child it's in the friendly category so you go to friendly and it says piggyback ride so you click on that. Um, Mila, where are you going? Okay. The adults can do the same thing. You click on an adult. And you go to friendly and piggyback ride. Oh, look at this. They're riding each other's backs. Oh, wait, no. I would have did the other way around. Oh, man. And then look. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Look. This is too adorable. How cute! Look at them! Oh, that is adorable, but that's what they do. They just can ride on each other's backs. That melts my heart. That really does. Y'all see how cute that was. I want to do it one more time. I want to do it one more time with the children, though. 
With the kids. With the kids. Come on, kids. Let's do it again. For the one time. For the culture. For the culture. All right, stop talking. Oh, and I get a bootlid. Okay, I gotta read it. Hold on. But I wanna see it again. <gasps> Not the sound. <laughs> like, she heavy. Wait, can they walk? Hold on, hold on. I wanna see if they can walk. I think they can. Let me see. I don't know. Can she walk with her? Oh, no, she can't. Aww. It would be cool if she could walk with her on her back, but it's still cute. But that is that mod, the piggyback ride mod. And I have another mod for you guys, and it's the last one. So let's move on to that one. So we're back with the last mod. And I really think I saved the best for last. I think you guys are really going to like this mod. I think it's new, if I'm not mistaken. I really think this is a new mod. I think it's been out for like quite a few weeks now. This is the Smarter Pie Menu or Better Pie Menu. It's either one, but I really think it's called Smarter Pie Menu. Oh, and by the way, we in a whole different setting, y'all. Um, I had to restart my game because I just found out that this mod, the Smarter Pie Menu, this mod conflicts with the Dark UI mod, which I had in my game, as y'all seen. It conflicts with that mod, so I have to take that out of my game and, yeah, come back on here. Y'all see, we in a whole different place whole different area it's morning time yeah i had to come back in my game and everything but we are here and i'm show y'all what the smarter pie menu mod is so you guys know that we've had an update and we got the new pie menu and it's so annoying you can't find shit like everything is just i mean the sims made the pie menu way more organized but it's like they made it more harder to find things as well and i don't like the new pie menu if i'm being honest i've told y'all this before in some of my videos it's just so hard to find interaction when you want your sim to talk about a specific thing or you're looking for a specific interaction to use y'all get what i'm saying <laughs> so we have jackson once again let's just have him come talk to his girl jackson is here talking but what you can do is you can click on a sim and let's just say i want to flirt with her you can type in the pie menu and you can search up the interaction that you want to use and you don't have to keep clicking and going through different sections to find a simple interaction that you want to use you can just type it like flirt like <laughs> oh my gosh and this y'all twisted mexi made this so much easier oh my gosh i just found this mod today and oh bitch when i tell you i'm using this and i'm keeping this in my game like for real so let's do this again so let's just say i want to have a deep conversation with her and I don't know where that's at in my pie menu. We're gonna type in D E E P. Oh, not dear. D E P. And here's deep conversation. So you're just typing in words to find stuff easier, basically. And it's just so convenient. This really is so convenient. This is such a huge help as well. Just help me out so much. Like, thank you so much. I wanna give you a hug. I really do. Thank you. But let's just look up one more thing. Maybe I wanna. Hmm. Let's try for a baby <laughs> no i'm playing oh not try to break up oh no boo i said try for baby but uh nah let's be goofy like let's tell a funny story or tell a dramatic story tell an insider story oh my gosh i love this mod this is probably a fave of mine already definitely definitely i love it i really do it's not only with your sims maybe if i want to talk to dominic fires and i want to do a friendly introduction you just type in fri hit friendly and friendly oh, introduction no. there we go simple i mean i did that quick didn't i instead of having to fucking click through all these damn interactions yeah period but that is that mod. That is the Smarter Pie menu. You guys should go. Definitely, definitely get this. I agree. I really saved the best for last. I really did. Oh, somebody with a half ass body. Who is this? Okay, whatever. But that is it with my video. I hope you all enjoyed my mod review video. And I also hope you guys found these mods very interesting. And you guys should go download it. Shout out to all the mod creators that I've used. Shout out to you guys. Your mods are very awesome. I love them so much i hope you guys found this video helpful like i said go download these mods for a better gameplay and if you want your gameplay to be a little bit more realistic thank you so much you guys for watching and i'll definitely be back with more mod review videos i had so much fun making this i'm seriously not even gonna lie to y'all this was so much fun just showing y'all different modders and their creations i definitely had a great time everything will also be linked down in the description so make sure you guys check the description if you want any of these mods or if you want all of the mods make sure you check the description everything will be linked 
down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope y'all have a great day or night. And hit the subscribe button. Hit the noties and comment down below. And hit that like button. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Stay tuned. Love y'all. Bye. Perno Oops. With a charge. Ah. May pick and bars.